So, hey guys, it's me, Grand Origin. Oh, bro. <laughs> I just discovered I can cry. Oh, no, 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 my intro. So, hey guys, it's me, Grand Original Gamer Boy, your host for this video. Welcome back to Control Walkthrough Part 2. In this video, we're gonna continue the, the, the gameplay, the walkthrough, the campaign from where we left last time. And yes, let's get started. It is same December 5th. And I already said. TPS trailer came out and I'm very happy about that. I love the fact I can fuck oh Wow Detailing <laughs> Detailing is nice in this game. What if I shoot the glow? It falls off. What if I shoot the glow? I like the detailing in this game though. What if I shoot this thing? Nothing. Yeah bro, super excited for GTA 6, probably the few videos which I'm gonna record for next day, which few days which are Control, Assassin Creed, uh, Odyssey and Gotham Knight videos you're probably gonna see me babbling about GTA 6 so yeah man, I'm really excited for this game You can't let this happen You can't let this happen You can't let this happen you can't let this happen. 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 I will admit this is creepy. You stopped it. You. Thank you. That was. Horror. Creepy. Yep. Horrified and creepy. Motherfuckers only attacking me from the front. That is nice. But they are, they are not human. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, yo, bro. Yeah, bro, he broke the glass to come after me. So if I pick up this thing, will I heal? I will. I will, in fact, heal. I hate the noise they are making, bro. Why did girl want to go further in this building, bro? Um, I, if I was her, I was like jumping out of the window. Who the fuck is this? Line of communication. Yeah, yeah, nah. Reload, reload, reload. Reload, 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 reload. The fact that I cannot do a manual reload is so shitty. I knew it though. I heard someone from back. That entity is probably trying to sneak up on me from behind. That is so creepy. The headshot does a lot more damage than the body for impact. So the, they do so much damage. What the fuck is explosion? Oh bro. Well. Jeez. They do so much damage and give very less less heals. A boss fight in this game gonna be horrible. I really wanted ranged attack like this. Down, light mode, hit, arrive. Perform daily body checks for foreign plant matter. That was like probably some something to manipulate some people. Where 
the fuck this game wants me to go? Bro, he's floating. He has a phone on his... Oh, that is a ID card. Okay, that is a ID card. Hey, yo, bro. What happened to this place? Okay, this is the only way I think I can go. Or is this the place I came from? It is the place I came from. There is a map in this game, okay. I just got to know that now. Wait, 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 wait. How do I close the map? I've never seen a fucking game which tells me to press the upper arrow key for the map. Here. Okay, here. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. Center like this it is. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. It's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. This game is a horror game in the guise of a RPG or a shooter game. This is a fucking horror game. Might be the first horror game I complete on my channel. Hey, 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 hey. Anyway, motherfucker is a boss. Why? But the fact that it gets knocked. No, 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 I, I gotta run. Heal, 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 heal. Motherfucker does a lot of damage. Getting hit in this game is fucked up. Central executive. I am in the central executive. Cleanse the control point. Cleanse the control point. All right. Help me fix it. I just want to know one thing. Will I get out of this building in this whole fucking game? Spiritual shit then? Oh, I can fast travel and I can Please, change my outfit if I have some. We saw you deal with the compromised with the corruption? agents. Compromised agent, alright. I can't I need to get out of this building. To to somebody sane. The feelings mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, Dr. Darling's assistant. Okay. My turn. Should I lie? No, no, Jesse no, don't do that. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. <laughs> Hold on. We're coming out. What do you mean you are coming out? I really hope you're not uh, someone who's gonna hurt me. I really director, hope so. Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow, this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. 
Okay. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. I know. Shot. Uh, In the head. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. Bro, she have some special I ability? I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. Bro. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Does she have mean the power she have or does she mean okay. me as a as a player by telling her? We did it before. Bro. Push the it's hiss like, out. Tell me like in the comments is like her name Emily Pope or like she's a Pope like the head of a church or some some someone like that. Like looks like a part to me so I'm gonna assume she's not related to the church and is a like Blood? Weird. <laughs> the bird looks like a monkey or a cat or a human doing a para para a uh, human doing a skydiving. What do you want me to try? Try to plant this guy, okay? I'm try. I mean that is a bird. <laughs> Dead? Yep. That is so fucking creepy. It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. That's so creepy. I, I would probably just. Jesse, over here. We need to make a plan, Jesse. Get out of this building and this country ASAP. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. This easily. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. 
I think he knew this was coming, or uh, suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone. A direct mm. line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has bro. years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. But he's dead. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I do not know. I think you already know. Yeah, I do not know that. Yes, I came for my brother, but there okay, thank are you for telling other reasons too. Okay. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. But I will. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. I don't. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Thank you. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow. What the happened hotline if I talk should to? be in the communications department. Hmm? Origin of his door to comms, director trying, blah, blah, blah. I mean about the origin of his. What is that? Where thing? did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? Nope. No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there, if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. The oldest house. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. Uh, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention. So unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. Mm. Object of power or the resonance amplifier. I don't know what they are, so I'm going to talk about them. So, HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. 
Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Okay, uh, tell me about the object of power. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. Thanks. And now about the director. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. <laughs> but you better hold on to that given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. All right, guys. So I guess I'm gonna exit this. Oh no 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 no! Don't 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 hear that. No no no. Thanks, Emily. All right, I'm sure I'll so. have more questions soon. Just let me know. So I guess the video is long enough and the next part we're gonna go and find the hotline thing, whatever that is. So just yes, stay tuned for that. So for now, I guess I'm gonna end the video. Thank you guys for coming and watching the video. Bro, look at all those people. So thank you for coming and watching this video. If you guys like this, please don't forget to drop a like for more gameplay. And subscribe my channel for more content and yep see you guys in the next video until then grand original game of boy signing out <laughs>